NB Live 2006 isn't a good start on the new generation consoles. Sure, it has the classic etiquette of being HD, and it does that part right, but at what cost? The frame rate. It is inconsistent and bad. And the animations, even if you can see that they are more numerous, they don't connect right, making the game feel weird in some moments. And another sad part about the game are the game modes. While MB Live's brother, MB 2K6, has a lot to offer in game modes, this game has only exhibition matches, a season mode, a creative player mode, and an online feature. That's about it. No franchise mode or other stuff. NBA Live 2007 has more game modes. You can choose from Quick Play, Season, Dynasty Mode, Playoffs, All-Star Weekends, Freestyle Challenges, One-on-Ones, Practice and Slam Dunk Schools. The NBA All-Star Weekend includes the Rookie Challenges, 3-point shootouts, Slam Dunk Contests and the All-Star Game. In Dynasty Mode, aside matches, you do the boss work too, you are also the manager. Also, some of the more popular players get superstar abilities, which do exactly what the name says. They get specific power-ups. And one review said that the game has touch passes, but I don't know what they are. And a big perk of the game is that they fixed the frame rate issues present in the previous game. NBA Live 2008 brings some novelties. Right from the start of a match you'll notice the different camera angles, and the controls feel better. They don't seem that much changed, but they feel more responsive, or maybe it's just the smoothness of the game. The superstar moves are gone, but the players still differentiate themselves drastically when you look at the stats of each player. Each one has his playstyle nicely tweaked to imitate the playstyle from their real life counterpart. Also the game brings some nice slam dunk contests and 3 point shootout. You can also participate in the rookie challenges as well as the FIBA tournament. NBA Live 2009 brings the dynamic DNA feature, which means that player stats are updated automatically to fit their real life counterpart as long as you have internet connection. The feature sounds cool but doesn't impact the gameplay that much. Also you have the ability to call plays by pressing L2. In Rust it's as solid as the others, having all the game modes till now. It still has to improve on the AI part though, but in Rust it's as solid as ever. NB Live 10 brings the dynamic DNA feature, in which player attributes are updated daily to reflect real world changes. The feature was present in the other one too, in Live 2009, but here it's more apparent and now the updates were more constant and you can see slight changes in the stats in gameplay. Even the other games had something like this by having personalized stats for each player, but here the stats of the players were updated constantly provided you had internet connection. And this is it. NBA Live 11 was supposed to be called NBA Elite 11, but got cancelled. Then in 2012 we didn't get an NBA Live game either. NBA Live 13 got cancelled too. And then the franchise continued with NBA Live 14, but it was only available for Xbox One and PS4, not for the 360 and PS3. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.